my stirrup. I hung this over a beam and I stepped on it like riding a horse like this. And I threw this leg over the horse, the beam, and stepped down into the lower stirrup. So that way I had one foot here, then another foot there, and I could climb down off the beam and gradually let the weight go on to the propeller rope. I devised that scheme. So basically, I was in possession, position for the descent. Um, and uh, it's a shame the hoops you have to jump through to get a little press on an issue nowadays. There's 40 people who were arrested at the White House uh, both before and after this and didn't get any press at all. And uh, it's, a, it's a shame what, you have to, what lengths you have to go through to get any uh, news on the war nowadays. So that's uh, the uh, quick demonstration. Tune in next time. Maybe I'll give you a real demonstration. Okay, uh, so Mr. Oaks, are you saying it's important to uh, hang out with the right people? Oh, uh, uh, definitely. Uh, ironically, the cops, since they couldn't do anything to me for four hours, spent most of the time chasing away the press in the National Press Building. Whoa. <laughs> and I quipped to the press, isn't it ironic, you don't even have free press in your own building. Um, but uh, let me explain a little bit about this banner. Of course, I had to go out there without a big bulky banner. So since it's 16 feet wide, I can constructed poles that fit together and come apart, like these two pieces that slips in, just like a tent. The cops busted it up, but uh, you get the idea. So I collapsed the 16 foot wide, the four pieces into a four foot section and then roll it up so the whole package was this big. I could throw it over my shoulder and manage to uh, get it out on the beam with me. And it took me about 15 minutes to unroll it and assemble it and hang the banner from me. Of course, I was hanging with the banner to protect the banner from cops grabbing it with hooks and uh, also to give the element of suspense to add to the newsworthiness of the event. But uh, the, after I futzed with the banner for 15 minutes to get it in position to display it, crowds formed below in suspense, wondering what I was doing, what the banner was going to say, will I ever get it unfurled. Uh, and when I finally displayed it, a big cheer went up from the crowd. Uh, basically, the audience was very supportive. People were waving, blowing kisses, being very friendly. Uh, even the cops, my arresting officer, was very friendly, and even the judge who sentenced me to $200 fine was sympathetic. Uh, no probation. Uh, the National Pledge paid for half my fine. The judge told me, please consider not doing this again for at least two months. And I said, yes, I will consider that. Uh, and uh, so that's the story in brief. And this is over, my favorite kitty.